Hi, I'm Ben Canning, and this micro lecture is on electric and magnetic fields. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and to do your follow up questions on Google Forms. Okay, so previously we've learned about this idea of gravity and that we have gravitational fields. Um, namely, that we can store energy based on something's location in a gravitational field. So if something's pulled further away, it's got more distance to fall, therefore more distance where it can pick up kinetic energy. And that idea is called gravitational potential energy, that stored energy in its position. Well, similar to gravitational fields, we can also store energy in electric fields, and we can also store energy in magnetic fields based on things position in either of those. So depending on where a uh, charge is located in the field created by this charge right here, or where another charge is uh, located based on the field provided by this negative charge right here. We're in a magnetic field where we place another magnet, meaning if we place it here versus here, we can store more or less energy based on how far it has to fall or be pulled or pushed or things along those lines. Now, unlike gravitational fields where everything was just uh, an attractive force, we have to account for the fact that magnets and charges can also be repelling as well. So we're going to start with similar situations to a uh, gravitational field, which is where we're going to have an attractive force, meaning um, here, as we pulled further away, uh, in fact, we increase the amount of stored energy there because this guy is being pulled back towards Earth. So similarly, if we have an attractive force between two different charges, so a positive charge and a negative charge, they are attracting each other, pulling each other towards each other. And as we pull this negative charge further away, we are actually increasing the amount of stored energy because it can now fall further and have a greater chance at gaining kinetic energy. Similarly, if we have two magnets where the north is facing the south end on a magnet, as we pull this guy further away, it's going to increase the amount of stored energy. So essentially in this case, when we have a force, um, or when we sorry move a charge or a magnet the opposite direction of a force, then we're going to increase the amount of energy. Here, that same pattern is going to exist, but the directions are going to change. So here we have two charges. We have a negative charge and a negative charge, and they're repelling. So if we bring this negative charge closer and decrease the distance, that's actually storing more energy because we are moving a charge in the opposite direction of the force that is kind of repelling it in this case. So in this case, we lead to this idea of decreased distance actually increases the energy. And similarly, if we have two magnets that are repelling each other, then by decreasing the distance or bringing this magnet closer, we are actually increasing the amount of energy that's stored because now it can be repelled or pushed further away and more chance for it to pick up kinetic energy in that process. So to summarize, the real idea that we're looking at here is that anytime you move a charge or a magnet in the opposite direction of the force it's experiencing, you're increasing the amount of energy you've stored because of that field. And the opposite would be true. So if you move in the same direction as the force, you're decreasing the amount of stored energy because the force is moving that thing at that point and it's maybe converting that into kinetic energy. That's it for this one. Three or more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and please do your follow-up questions on Google Forms.